A controversial cremation company has been ordered to stop operating in Colorado. In February, we spoke to a mother who said Heritage Cremation scammed her out of money and lost her son's remains. They were later found, but this mother's pain is still fresh. Brian Moss follows up on his investigation. Our investigation began here with the website for Heritage Cremation Services, a website that made the company look like it was local. We quickly found out that was not the case. And, he, and we so weren't the only was, ones. It was just a nightmare. When Lisa Colton's son Jake died in 2015, her family wanted a bolder cremation company. And they came upon Heritage Cremation's website saying it was Trusted Cremation Services in Boulder, family owned and operated for over two decades. But we found the same site for Heritage for almost any city or town you plugged in. Lisa Colton said the company gave her the runaround, making mistake after mistake, even losing track of her son's body. When I made contact with her on Monday, she acknowledged that they had no idea where Jake's body was. Now the state of Colorado has confirmed the CBS4 investigation, suspending Heritage's license to operate in Colorado, suggesting the company doesn't really have any facilities in Colorado, but just subcontracts out to local cremation companies. My name is Brian Moss. I'm from CBS4. Hi, Brian. I'm trying to find someone from Heritage Cremation Services. They are not here. Is his camera rolling? I hope so. Yeah, I, I mean, it was. But if you, would you like us to leave? I would. The state also verifying what we revealed. The business addresses Heritage listed in Colorado were just virtual offices with no company employees, no equipment, nothing. No, you can't film in the Regis. No, I'll call the police. Okay. You can't film here. In another case cited in the state suspension, investigators say when a consumer decided not to use Heritage, the company refused to tell the customer where their loved one's body was and refused to move it to another crematory without a credit card number. I can't stand the thought of another parent going through this. Now, with this suspension order, that won't be happening, at least not in the near future. Brian Moss, CBS 4 News. State federal authorities say they are also notifying the Federal Trade Commission and the Colorado Attorney General's Consumer Fraud Unit. The company did not respond to our email seeking comment.